Hello Aquarius! This is your mid-October 2019 reading. Remember it will not resonate with all Aquarius individuals even though I do try to reach the majority. But this is for October, mid-October 2019. New energies, hopefully positive energies for those um, that belong to the zodiac sign or were born under the zodiac sign of Aquarius, the masses that were born under this sign. I do hope for, like I said, a positive reading. If we don't get one, we always work it out. I, don't tr I try not to leave you hanging. Incoming energy. Queen of Swords. This could be you. Past energy, but or incoming energy, I should say. You feel a little bit like uh, maybe you were slighted in some way. Maybe you feel aggravated. Maybe short-tempered. Maybe words were said with you and another person. But it's the Queen of Swords in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with another air sign. Current environment is the Ten of Swords. Someone is feeling betrayed. Feeling like someone messed them over. What's crossing it is the King of Swords. This could be, again, you or someone, um, another air sign. Or, like I said, maybe you did this to somebody for a few of you. Your goal, what crowns you is the Ace of Pentacles. You're looking for a new stable beginning. I may reshuffle these. I think I got this for Capricorn. Um, the Death card in reverse. Someone's trying to resurrect a situation. Someone from the past for the Six of Cups. You want to come out of feeling trapped, though. You want to come out of feeling bound and, you know, in your head. You want to, you, you will come out of that with the, um, Nine of Swords in reverse, you're going to start coming out of that. But right now, someone's trying to resurrect the situation from someone in the past. Uh, Page of Cups is in reverse. This is somebody who is uh, waiting on a message, maybe a message of uh, emotional nature, and maybe they feel like they're not going to get it. It also says, watch your emotions if it's, if it's advice from the universe. What is coming towards you, um, beyond your control, the outside environment, is the Four of Wands, uh, unhappy home situation. Your hopes and fears is towards the Queen of Rods. The Queen of Rods can be a fire sign, sometimes a little older um, or more mature. She's, uh, or maybe you're hoping for this type of person, a more passionate person, or you're hoping towards a person that is, has a passionate energy and very attractive. In the end, you must make a decision. You must make a decision. It's like you're holding on to two different things or options, but you don't want to let either go with the two of wands. Now let's go back to the beginning, why someone is feeling betrayed. Either you betrayed somebody or someone betrayed you. Why are you there? Ten of swords with the king of swords crossing it. What's going on? Someone wants to be happy with something, someone, but they feel betrayed at the same time. Ten of Swords, King of Swords is crossing the Sun card in the upright. Why are you there for Aquarius? Queen of Swords in reverse. Some of you may be very well dealing with another air sign or someone with, like I said, short-tempered, sharp with words. Queen of Swords is in reverse there. Your goal is the Ace of Pentacles. You're, you're, you're going for um, a stable new beginning. Something that will last a long time. So the Ace of Pentacles in the upright for Aquarius. Why are you there? Is the, what, the uh, goal or what crowns them? Why are you there? With the Queen of Pentacles, you may. This also could be that you're you're wanting someone who has more stability in their life, more stable. With the Queen of Pentacles in the upright, the Queen of Pentacles is someone who can. Um, manifest a lot in their lives you know things that they want and people look up to them they're usually really um down to earth so the ace of pentacles queen of pentacles both in the upright while you're there for aquarius as the goal or what crowns them this is the high priest is the high priestess is in the upright someone is trying to listen to their inner intuition they're trying to um uncover secrets in some way or just wanting someone more stable you know with the high priestess in the upright you're saying is this person right for me am i right for this person foundation you got the death card in reverse the death card in reverse while you're there is the foundation 
Someone may have stopped working on something, even though someone else is trying to resurrect it. With the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Death card, Eight of Pen Pentacles both in reverse while you're there for Aquarius. And messages may come in with the Eight of Wands quickly. And the, in um, the past position, you are dealing with someone in the past or memories from the past. So, Six of Cups in the upright. Why are you there for Aquarius? What's going on? Knight of Wands. Again, it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I see that over here. A fire sign, possibly. Maybe you're dealing with a fire sign in the past and you're dealing with somebody else. I saw this, you know, I think for Capricorn's reading, but it was different. So, the Knight of Wands, both in the past, why are you there for Aquarius in the past? And they're contemplating on the past situation with the Nine of Wands. You're trying to think of what went wrong, what you could have done different. In the very near future, you will come out of anxiety from not sleeping well. You'll start sleeping well again. But it's the Nine of Swords in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse, why are you there in the very near future? For Aquarius, and you want that in reverse. You feel like you're not gaining a lot of independence, though, with the Nine of Pentacles. I mean, you're coming out of anxiety from this, from not feeling really independent or real sure of yourself, but it's still slightly there. So, Nine of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, both in reverse for Aquarius in the very near future while you're there. And you're not really having a whole lot of fun either, you know. You are coming out of sleepless nights, but it's like it's the beginning of it, you know, with the Three of Cups in reverse. Now, the possible future outcome and advice from the universe is the Page of Cups in reverse. The Page of Cups in reverse can be the, the universe telling you to watch your emotions and messages that you send. So, nine, I mean, Page of Cups in reverse while you're there for Aquarius is the possible future outcome or advice from the universe. Five of Swords, yeah, put down your swords. Don't argue or fight with anybody. With Five of Swords in reverse. Page of Cups, Five of Swords in reverse. While you're there for Aquarius. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe. The Hangman. And stop waiting around for somebody. Or maybe you shouldn't hang, or suffer over somebody, I should say. Don't suffer so much over somebody. Over messages, over past arguments. The outside environment is the Four of Pentacles. I mean, not the Four of Pentacles. The outside environment is the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands in reverse, coming towards Aquarius beyond their control. Why are you there? Someone wants to come out of a disappointment with you with the Five of Cups, with the Four of Wands. Both of you want to come, or not both of you. Someone wants to come out of a disappointment of something that was an unhappy home situation, someone you know. So the Four of Wands, Five of Cups, both in reverse. Why are you there? Coming towards Aquarius. What's going on? Knight of Cups could be a water sign, or you're just, like I said, you're waiting for these messages, or these messages will come in. But someone is not feeling real emotionally, uh, I'm not going to say fit. They're just... They feel real emotional, and they're they're trying to come out of disappointment over an unhappy home situation. So you may be hearing from somebody that's going through this, someone from the past, or it could be that somebody right now is trying to come out of a happy unhappy situation with you. Now, your hopes and fears. You're hoping towards the Queen of Rods. The Queen of Rods is in the upright. It's a fire sign, possibly. Like I said, someone attractive, <clears throat> someone easygoing. Usually. <laughs> Queen of Rods in the upright. Why are you there? For Aquarius and the hopes and fears. Why are you there? King of Swords, that's you. Maybe you're hoping to be with this person. With the King of Swords next to the Queen of Rods. Why are you there? And the hopes and fear fears for Aquarius. King of Cups, or maybe more than one person involved. Possibly a water sign. Now, in the end, you got the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is someone that needs to make a decision. It's like, like I said, someone has two options. And one they think they want to go with, but they they got a safety net in the other, and they won't let it go. 
So the Two of Wands in the very end for Aquarius, why are you there? That's the final outcome. Are you going to make a choice, Aquarius? Or someone going to make a choice on you? Yeah, over uh, Three of Pentacles, over... They say hard at work or work work hard towards making a decision. Also, like I said, involves more than just another person, one other person. <clears throat> so the two of wands, three of pentacles in the end, why are you there for Aquarius? And then I'll draw three more um, cards with the love oracle deck. Maybe we can get more information. Queen of wands. Again, fire sign. So you're going to have to make a choice, Aquarius, or someone's going to have to make a choice on you, who they want to be with, or what or what they want to do with the future. Let's get three cards from the Love Oracle deck here. I need three cards for Aquarius of what's going to happen in the love situation with them and whoever they're dealing with <clears throat> for Aquarius. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves, each other, the bond deepens. So you got to get to know the other person. Maybe that's what you're hoping for before you make a decision. You're seeing that there's chemistry, if it's strong or, mag you know, magnetic type attraction. Maybe that's why you haven't made a decision whether to go with one person and leave something else behind totally. Because you want to see if they're the right fit for you. But you may retreat because you're still, you know, pining away at something or someone's pining away for you. Sometimes this has, these um, energies do flip where it has to do with the person you're involved with, that they're the ones going through this. And they may need to make a decision towards you. So I'm seeing this the same way as uh, another sign that's going through this, whether or not... Um, to go forward with a new love situation or to retreat. So you're trying to figure out if you got chemistry with somebody, whether to you should go forward with something or you should go back to somebody else. And this is what I'm getting for these type of Aquarius that they're dealing with. Um, I don't know which one I want right now. And like I said, for some of you, this could be flipped. Someone could be not knowing if they want to be with you right now, but they very well may, you know, do that. But this is your reading, and I will upload it as soon as I can. And it's up to you, Aquarius. You, you know, the choice is yours here. It's, it's like you have a choice here for a majority of you, which way you want to go. But it looks like, you know, you're, you're undecided to me. And you may go with this person if you have chemistry. If not, you'll retreat. And I'll talk to you later. Okay? Bye.